right, we're going to look at what we call in algebra matrix or matrices as plural. And I'm going to um, do a couple of videos. The first video is going to look at how we read and interpret matrices. It's mainly just some vocabulary. So you will need to have your notes, your, your Cornell notes out so that you can pause the video and write down the information, especially the um, vocabulary words. All right, so let's take a look. The vocabulary that we will be looking at and that you will need to be writing down in your notes, uh, the definition of your matrix, the dimensions of a matrix, and what are the entries and the addresses of matrices? A matrix can be written to show data. It, we can take, for example, we have a table here that has information about bell racing. The table shows scores, three scores for two girls. And we can represent tables. We could represent it as a spreadsheet or we could represent it as rows and columns. If we represent this as rows and columns, then we bring in what we call our matrix. And we, use, we can use our matrices to show data from a table. Your definition of a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, and the numbers are enclosed in brackets. So we're going to take this table and we're now going to turn it into a matrix. Okay. So here you see your data and we have taken out all but the numbers and we have labeled or given it a name of matrix A. Okay. Matrix A, if we look, they're illustrating it for you here, matrix A has two rows and three columns. A matrix with M rows and N columns we would say have dimensions of N times N. And we would read that M by N. So if we're talking about matrix A, we look at the rows, two rows and three columns. And so matrix A would be a 2 by 3 matrix. Now each value that you have in a matrix we call an entry. So there's another vocabulary word. Each value in the matrix is what we call the entry or an entry of the matrix. And each entry of a matrix has what we call an address. The address tells you where an entry is according to its location. And we express the address by using the lowercase matrix letter. In this case, we have matrix A, so lowercase would be the lowercase a. And we use our row and our column numbers as the subscripts. So if we take the score of 16.206, we look at what row it is first. So we look, we have row 1 and row 2. So it is in row 2. And then we look at the columns. We find that it is in column 1. So 16.206 would have an address of A sub 21. In other words, row 2, column 1. And that's how you read an address. So let's just practice this. So we have some data. We're going to turn it into a matrix with our brackets. So we'll bring down our entries. So we have, once we bring it into the matrix, we count how many rows we have. And we have one, two, three rows. And we have one, two, two columns. So if we want the dimensions of P, of matrix P, we would say the dimensions are how many rows again? Three by how many, how many columns? Two. Okay. 
Let's use this same table again for some more information. Now let's look at some addresses and some entries. What is entry P sub 3, 2? So the 3, remember, you want is the row. So we want the third row, row 1, 2, 3. And then we want column 2, 1, 2. So third row, column 2. We find that we have the entry of $5.25. And we can also go backwards and we can find the address. So if we have entry 595, we find 595, which is right here. We establish what row it's in, which is in row 1. And then we establish what column. So column 1 and column 2. So the address of 595 would be row 1, column 2. Alright, here we have matrix M, and what I would like for you to do is I want you to pause the video, and I want you to try to answer the question yourself, and then restart the video and see how you did. The first question is, what are the dimensions of M? So I'm going to first of all establish my rows. I have row 1, row 2, row 3. So I have three rows, and I have 1, 2, three, four, I have four columns. So my, the dimensions of my matrix M is a three by four. What is the entry at M three, two? So again, I'm going to go to row three. So I'm down here at row three and column two. So count over column two. So row 3, column 2, and we find that the entry is the number 11. And then our last one, they asked you about the number 0. They said that the 0 appears twice, and I let's see how you did on that. So let's take this one here, row 1, column 4. So row 1, column 4. And then let's take our second one. So our second zero is here. So we count down row one, row two. So row two, column, count over. One, two, three. So our second one, our second zero is at the address of 2, 3. All right, so these are the basics of how we read and interpret the information in our matrices and how we can find the entries and the addresses. And I'm going to stop the video here, and then I'm going to continue with the second video on how we add, subtract, and multiply.